Hi, I'm Jake, and now I'm going to show you how to use updated version of Karaoke Titles Toolkit. So first of all, let's import our music. You can go to File, Import, File, and choose whatever song you want to use. Then let's open your music composition. Just double-click here on your music and drag your music file into this composition. And then you need to navigate to this to render Full HD composition. And here we can change our styles. So let's go to Control Overall Layer and then choose this Effect and Controls panel. Here you can see a bunch of options which you have. So let's try to change the color. You can just left mouse click here and change to whichever color you want. As also you can change this second color. So as you can see you have a bunch of styles and let me quickly show you all of them. So here we have some text effects. And let me disable this snowflake animation. So we can change this text bevel. Let's set it to 5. This text has more 3D dimensional look to it. And you can increase to 10 if you like. You can also add some shadow intensity. So for example, if you click here, you can see that it has transparency and you can increase shadow intensity and decrease blur. So in this way, you can add some shadows to your text. Add some glow to it and change this glow radius. Just make sure to set a low value to this glow intensity. For example, two or even one. Also, you have this text transition blur. I'm gonna set to zero. You'll see this straight line of transition. And if you want to blur it out, you can change it here to 15, for example. It's really helpful in case if you would want to use neon light. It will blend better with your footage. And by the way, for neon light, it's better to use a lot more thinner kind of font. You can also change to your logo. Just click here to enable it. And then just drop your logo into this composition in this center. So for example, let's go to File, Import File, Import your logo and drag and drop. You can press S on keyboard to make it smaller and just set it here and then go back to this composition to render. As you can see, your logo will jump on top of this lyric. You can disable it. You can also enable simple bounce ball and you can also change the color of this ball. Then we have this neon light if you go to the text and it's better if you're gonna use some thin font. It will look more cleaner as you can see. I'm gonna press Ctrl Z to go back to this main font. And by the way, you can use any font of any language you want. So let's disable this neon light. Let's go to lightning. This lightning mode will work if you have trap code particular. So as you can see, it will give this lighting effect, which looks pretty cool. And you can also change the color of it. Then let's see the snowflake. And by the way, you can combine these effects. I can even drop on top this moonlight effect also. So in this way, you can just combine multiple effects if you want. Basically here you can change the color of the snowflake itself or this secondary color on top of this snow, for example, to this kind of color. Choose this moonlight. As you can see, it's easier to use. Then matrix, it grabs the same color which you choose here. So for example, if you choose this green color, it will be green. Next will be rose petals. It also uses trap code particular and you can change to any color which you like. Let's see this flakes mode. Once again, you can change the colors. It has two kinds of colors. For example, this pink and maybe green. And this is how you can change and add multiple colors to this flakes colors. Let's disable it and go to bubbles. You can quickly add some bubbles, hearts, and also change the colors of the hearts. For example, to pink one. And once again, this second one will change yellow color to red. And it will be red also. Let's see what we have here. We can also have this future kind of look. You can combine it with bounce ball if you want. We also have this spotlight feature, which looks pretty interesting. So here we have the steel effect. Let's disable it and go to audio wave below. So as you can see with this effect, you can just add these waveforms and you can change the color of it once again to whichever you like. Then let's enable this brush. And finally, we have this paint color effect. Just make sure to disable this text glow radius and you'll see your text clear. And here you can change to any color which you like which also looks pretty cool.
Okay, now let's take a look how you can animate this bounce ball or any effect which you'll choose. So first of all, you need to go to text and here you can just cut all of your lyrics. So for example, you can just go to the project panel and drop here your song and then just listen to it. So for example, here at 17 second, we can zoom in by clicking on this icon here and create our first text layer. So this example text layer you just cut to your first lyric and then just listen to it. Here we go, here we go. It's about so as you can see at 19 seconds it ends and you can just select this layer and press Ctrl Shift D. It will split the layer or just select this layer and go to edit split layer. So this is how you can easily cut this layer multiple times and then just type the lyric. For example, here we go, here we go. And then repeat this process. Listen to the lyric. It's about time that we set it up. And then cut this layer and type the lyric. It's about time to set it all. And once you'll cut all of your lyrics, you can go back to this to render full HD composition. And here you have this line fill animation. You can select it and press U on keyboard and you'll see these keyframes. So in our case, now when we've cut our layer to this 17th second, we need to go back to the to render full HD composition and navigate to this moment where our lyrics will appear. So as you can see, now we see this here we go, here we go lyrics. And now we can just animate this one slider. So for example, you can just delete these keyframes by clicking here and create new one also by clicking here. It will create our first keyframe. We can set to zero, which means that this animation will start here. Or you can just go even to below the zero. For example, minus 13. In this case, as you can see, animation will start out of the screen. And then just go to the next lyric, which will appear here at 19th frames, and just drag it across your lyric like this. In this way you'll get your first animation. You can also cut this work area to this moment just like this and then press zero on numpad to preview your result. Here we go, here we go. And just by using these two keyframes you can also add another one if you want to have a pass. So for example here, here we go, we know we have a pass. So we can click here to create a new keyframe and then just press F9. It means that at this moment it will pass for a second and then go to the next title. Just make sure to time it well. So for example, you can see that here it switches and you need just to click here on this button to previous frame and find this moment where it will switch. And just before it, you just need to set this keyframe to this moment. Hold shift on keyboard and it will snap right to this moment. So it would be easier. And the next one, you can just click here, next frame, and create new keyframe. Just by clicking here, or just by changing this slider. And once again, let's set it to the beginning, just like this. And run it across to the next line. Once again, let's find this moment where it switches with these buttons. It looks like here. And run it across with this slider. And here, as you can see, it jumps just to this moment and starts once again. So this is basically how you can animate your sliders. Let's press zero on numpad to see how it looks. And as you can see here at this moment, we would want this part to be a bit faster. So for this, you can just select this last keyframe and go to this graph editor and just drag by this handle. It will speed up the animation and then press zero on numpad. Here we go, here we go. And just by playing with these keyframes, you can just speed up the animation and get the look which you like. So let's press zero on numpad to see what we've got. And you can always go to control overall layer and switch between styles if you have ideas or you want to have more styles to this template, you can just write on this email which you can see on screen right now.
and I'll create them for you in next updates. Thank you for watching.